And we are back. Some look forward to the year. I should say all year long to the holidays. Now, for family, friends, food, festivities, it's all a part of the holiday gathering. It's a fun time, but for some, it's not universal. For many, the holidays can be also a trigger of feelings, stress, grief, anxiety, and fatigue, especially for those who are homebound and isolated and dealing with chronic illness. It can feel like an overwhelming time of year. Here now, discussing the signs of the holiday blues and some sharing some advice on what to do if you or a loved one is experiencing these systems, we have geriatric mental health specialist at BNS Health, Beth Glick. And Beth, uh, thank you for joining us. And I guess the first question we have is, uh, like I mentioned in the intro, that for some it's not a good time of year when we get to the holidays. How prevalent is it uh, in the number category? I would say completely. Uh, I do not know one person that isn't affected by the holidays in an emotional sense. And I absolutely, not everyone can get together. And certainly everyone experiences their Christmas being different than it was. So uh, between expectations, um, the feeling of loneliness, financial stress, the holidays can be really hard. So we're doing, uh, we're trying to do a a very specific job as we do at this time every year to talk about the hard stuff as well, because just being stuck in the hard stuff and feeling like you're the only one can be lonely in itself. So a person on the outside, sometimes you just don't know. You can just say something, you can do something, you can go somewhere. And all of a sudden, a trigger occurs in that mm -hmm. loved one. Um, what are some of the triggers and what are some of the things that we can know uh, in this area because we don't want to be offensive to somebody, but yet and still, uh, or, sen or not sensitive, but yet and still we can just do something really basic and common, and that can be a trigger. You know, that's a beautiful question because I hear in your question, you're asking how do we be loving to others and just be um, aware and, and not uh, push anyone's buttons? How do we be care careful with other people, but also with ourselves? I would say that really talking directly um, and asking people uh, or sharing your experience and asking other people, like, is there someone that you're missing this holiday season if you're talking to loved ones? Um, how can we honor that person? Um, and then within yourself, I think that really just, again, making awareness of it. Sometimes we just go on automatic mode and we are feeling signs of depression and we are not even um, realizing it. So actually just checking in with our own uh, sleeping habits, eating habits, a loss of appetite, loss of interest in socializing, loss of interest in, um, in, in doing your everyday things is a good sign either in yourself or in others that you might be experiencing what we call the holiday blues. Um, but for some people are clinical depression, um, whether you've been experiencing that in the past uh, or you, or it's just seasonal. Uh, the winter in itself is just a cold, darker uh, season. And so it can really be good to check in with yourself and others and see how, how we're doing. You know, Beth, I like the fact that you gave us some signs. I wanna go a step further with that uh, so we see the signs um, for a person that may be dealing with a loved one or a friend. Um, how do you know it's the time to take it to the next level where help is required? Because sometimes mm -hmm. we feel as though we can manage it and just talk and talk through. But other times we know that this is really, <laughs> like we say around the block, above our pay grade. And we really need to get this to someone who can, can better assist. I would say, and that's an incredible question, I would say that just 100% don't worry about whether it has to be a five alarm fire before that you get some help, right? We can look and seek support at any time. And I just wanna put it out there that there is the number 988 now. Um, so I work for VNS Health and we have free mobile um, mental health uh, programs and you can access us directly through VNS Health, but just in general, 988 is our new nationwide number, just like 911 or 311, it's just three numbers. And you can call it, and on the other end is local to your area, 
a counselor 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can just talk to them if you're feeling lonely, right? If you are, you, you don't have to worry about having some big diagnosis or, or, or really being at the end of your life before you talk to someone just for emotional support. So through 988, you can talk to a counselor and they have resources, including ours at BNS Health. And you don't have to worry about, uh, yeah, it getting too bad. Um, remember that emotional support, also mental health care, therapy, lots of different words for it. Emotional support can happen from friends and family, but it can also be really hard to talk to friends and family who know you, who you feel like you don't want to share personal business with, who you are worried about their feelings. When you talk to a professional, you are getting that confidentiality. You're getting that space just for you that I really, I really appreciate providing that. If I'm out there and I'm trying to counsel, or just not even counsel, I'm talking to my friend, my friend is going through it, I know that they've experienced loss or grief or some trauma, uh, I'm, I'm concerned. Uh, what are some of the things I can say that can mm -hmm. be of assistance um, that might help to, you know, just ride through the moment and, and get them, you know, get them through? Yeah, I think just letting someone know that you see them and that you are thinking about them, right? And asking for something, what I call a bit of connection, which is just like, hey, how you doing? Um, I know you lost your husband about two years this time last year, or, uh, you know, and how are you doing with that? You know, are, are, you, are you looking to do something maybe together? Do you wanna get a cup of coffee, right? So actually connection is so healing. And so offering some form of connection, even in a small way, and we can do this over video. We can do this by sending cards. We can do this in a lot of different ways. So just letting your friends and family know that um, it's okay that you're someone that they can come to and that also you have resources like 988 that they shouldn't be scared to use. And 988, we know people can dial, get the assistance that they need, but uh, also be able to walk in or call and get the help that, uh, that you can in terms of dealing with the holiday blues. And when we see the holiday blues, um, what could be some telltale signs right off the bat that this person is a person with holiday blues? Okay. Um, well, in our program, my program is GMHI VNS at VNS Health. Um, we serve the Bronx and we deal with people, we, we uh, tend to people who are experiencing depression and anxiety all year round. And that can look very similar during the holidays if someone's just having holiday blues or seasonal blues, right? And so that does look like a change in eating, um, a change in sleep, a change in desire to do things, a change in ability to do things. Also, how you talk to yourself. Um, if, you, if you're hearing yourself and you're saying, I can't do this, I'm not good enough, I shouldn't, sometimes we can get on ourselves. So really getting to notice um, am I being nice to myself? If I'm not, that might be a sign that I I'm, have some blues, whether that be all year round or the holiday blues. Yeah, a lot to consider. And I mean, I think families, loved ones, really just want their best for the person that they're interacting with. But sometimes it seems as though you're a mile away in terms of reaching. Uh, and mm -hmm. when you're a mile away in terms of reaching, that can be frustrating. Any last minute tips you want to give to a person that may be talking to someone to kind of like ease their frustration because you want to be able to get through, you want to be able to help somebody, you want to be there, but that person that's there um, sometimes becomes the doormat for some negative, uh, you know, negative feelings and negative interactions on the part of the person they're trying to help. Yeah, I I think that letting people know, letting people in on your journey can also uh, help. Right, because destigmatizing, uh, letting people know that it's okay to reach out, letting people know that you've been through hard times and that you see somebody going through hard times, and that there's no shame in getting help. Um, calling if if it, you're 60 and older, you can call VNS Health and talking to your loved ones, noticing our 60 and older older adults that might be having a hard time with isolation and saying, "Hey, listen." I, you, you might be hurting my feelings right now, 
Um, but I know that behind this, maybe you just need some help for you. Can make, can I help you make that call? Um, or yeah, letting people know if you have any mental health um, care work yourself, what that is like for you. So, so I think that people feel really alone in um, getting services sometimes. Uh, we all kind of keep our healthcare secret, but if we let each other know that we're all out here doing doing the best we can for ourselves, then maybe that will, will help our friends and family. Yeah, Beth, look, you've been a great help, and uh, hopefully uh, somebody will take notes during this holiday season. And uh, as we said, the holidays is always good for everybody, but certainly we've got some tips to make it better. Thanks a lot, Beth. Thank you. All righty, now, if you want more information, visit the website at BNS Health. Dot org. And don't forget that number that Beth gave, 988. We encourage you, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more open coming up right after this.